Flutter, a UI framework for building apps on iOS, Android, the web, and desktop. At its core, Flutter combines a high-performance graphics engine with the Dart programming language. In development, Dart provides full type safety and stateful hot reload to help you build reliable apps quickly. In production, Dart compiles to native machine code, which means your graphics will render beautifully on any platform. Install Flutter, then run Flutter Create to create a new project. Now open the main Dart file. This is where you build your app. The UI is laid out as a tree of widgets, and the framework provides hundreds of pre-built widgets to handle things like animation, scrolling, responsive layout, and more. You can build your own widget by extending the stateless widget class. You then define your UI by overriding its build method. Now it's important to understand that everything in Flutter is a widget. This method returns a widget, and its children return widgets, and their children return widgets, giving us an expressive, declarative UI structure, which you can easily traverse using Flutter's awesome tooling. Whenever the input data to this widget changes, Flutter will rebuild the UI by calling your build method. Stateless widgets are immutable and don't have any internal data. When you have an interactive widget where the internal data might change based on user input, you can extend a stateful widget. Properties defined on this class can be reactive. For example, we might have a counter that starts at zero. Then in our build method, we have one of Flutter's built-in buttons that calls a function whenever it's pressed. It increments the counter by calling setState, which tells the framework that the widget's data has changed, causing the UI to re-render with the latest data. You can now play with this app on a real device using the Flutter run command. That's cool and all, but let's make some changes. We'll go back to our source code and center the button on the middle of the screen. Instead of writing code, just click on the button and hit Control shift r then wrap your button with a center widget. Next, change the color of the button and notice how Flutter previews that color directly in your IDE. Now to hot reload the app, simply type r into the command line. It only took a few milliseconds to build a new version of our app, and notice how the state of the counter was unchanged. That's what I like to call an awesome developer experience. This has been Flutter in 100 seconds. If you want to learn more, check out my newly updated Flutter Firebase course on Fireship.io. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.